Oh, very good dog. That's so awesome, certainly. All right, Matt, Isabel has a tickle in her throat. I'm going to go get my girl some water so you can take over on the forecast side of things, Thanks, the other Jean. kind of water. Yeah, Isabel, I'll be right back. how did you get into TV? Can you tell me all about your career? <laughs> Start young. You're past in 170 words. Don't you dare. Okay, take it right. away, Matt. All right, I'll head over. That's fine. You Go get that. Take your time. Delicious water. Take your time, please. You no. sound just fine out there. I don't oh, think I there is a problem. I am just Matt. Okay, just that's it. That acorn story was a good one. All right, uh, weather-wise, uh, <laughs> we're in the 70s right now. 80 down in Dover right now. A little bit cooler than yesterday, right? The oppressive heat that we had and all that thick humidity has been shoved down to the south. We've got a wind that's out of the northeast. That's a sign of a cooling wind and also a drying wind. You notice how it kind of butts up against a southerly wind just south of our viewing area. That's where the frontal boundary has settled after last night and this morning's storms. Humidity, though, it kind of lags behind front. So we've brought in a slightly drier version of air off towards the north. It's still humid. Humid, and then we still have that tropical air as you get down towards the front. And that is where we have the showers and even a couple rumbles of thunder here this afternoon. You notice the radar has been fairly quiet. We've gone quiet today as all the storms have really been down to the south. But you can see what we have setting up here. This little line of some downpours stretching from Wayne County back towards Ashland County. Even had a funnel cloud reported in Wayne County earlier from this. No sign of that, you know, being able to touch down to the ground. But we did have a little rotation with one just to the west of Worcester earlier. Still have some decent downpours from Maslin areas of Stark County. This will push into the I-77 corridor shortly. And then that rain extends back into farm country. Orville, Smithville seeing some nice rain. Boy, the farmers need that right now. Just a light to moderate rain stretches back into Ashland County. Becomes a little bit more scattered there. That rain will likely hold as that boundary kind of stays steady. The bulk of the storms are down to the south. This is where the severe weather is. That's where it's expected to stay. But you see kind of the smattering of showers. We've got pretty messy pattern north of that front, but we're a little bit more stable than we were yesterday at this time. The heat Remember, this was a big dome of heat. It's been shoved down to the south with that line of storms that we had from here to Iowa last night. So again, quiet evening expected for most of us in terms of the rain. We mentioned that ring of fire pattern with all the rain going around that high. Look at the rain the last 24 hours. Lots of flooding in areas where you saw the pink locally just southwest of us down towards Mansfield, down towards the Galleon area. We're dealing with three to six inches of rain last night. The rest of us picking up lesser amounts, but even an inch or so Medina back towards Akron the last 24 hours. Now I have the tickle in my throat. National Design Mart hour by hour forecast clearing things out tonight. Tomorrow, a mix of clouds and sun. We've taken rain out of the forecast tomorrow. It looks like the bulk of the activity is going to stay south. It does come back at us on Friday, though, and after that, we bring in our cold front, and that'll bring drier air from the weekend. It'll be slow to get in here, though. Union Home Mortgage seven-day forecast. 80s and upper 70s, making way for a sunshiny weekend ahead. We're back to storm chances by Tuesday. Betsy or Isabel, which one? Uh, me, I'll run over and get you a bottle of water here as soon as I get done with this. <laughs> Appreciate she does it. it all. I'll just bring a case in. We're, we're to that point.